and just talk about kind of what's the difference between a terrorist organization <coughs> versus a lone actor. Um, now, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, you know the lone actor attacks have been definitely increasing. You might have noticed that it's been a lot in the news. So, and so they're actually very important <coughs> as well. One thing I have discussing in the future is um, is basically your uh, cyber attack, cyber terrorism. But we're not going to talk about that today. But that's also another important issue to think about, the cyber aspect. But basically, when you think about your um, group and organization, uh, what do you guys think? basically, you know, an organization of group of people, and you can have loan act, you can have them send out or carry out attacks by yourself, like a suicide attack or a regular attack by yourself, but they're still part of an organization, so those are still, and then you kind of have your cells, which are still affiliated with an organization, and but loan actors are, are usually considered completely alone, with, with nobody else with them. Some people think that maybe there could be one or two, but usually completely alone. And they say that the people who <coughs> are completely alone are more dangerous because what does the organization have to do? If you think about it, anybody know? Yeah, and they also have to work together so there's more ways to infiltrate it. There's more ways for the organization to um, be caught um, in their planning. But alone actors, usually it's all alone. Nobody knows about it. Um, you not going to be caught as easily. Like if you think about the San Bernardino, which the San Bernardino was on behalf of ISIS, they say. So, but if you think about it, they were kind of a uh, little more dangerous because they didn't have a lot of other people involved. But they might have been caught because they had people involved. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what would you say a uh, foreign fire would be like for the San Bernardino terrorists? Because they weren't, I guess, like a part of ISIS, but they were like yeah. motivated by them. Like, Yeah, I would say that if, if they were, they 
they say that she was actually um, told by ISIS to do the attack or had affiliation. So they would probably be associated with an organization. But they were a little bit more dangerous, which is a new trend because of the fact that they were more alone than other cells might be. Does that make sense? So that's probably why they were able to do as much as they were. A lot of cells are caught before they do it because they they don't have that ability. So, so they are a little bit more, a little bit more 